Welcome back to LEX 18 News at Sunrise. Now, today we're broadcasting from Critchfield Meets over in the uh, Zandel Shopping Center off Nicholasville Road. Got Mike hanging out with me, and Critchfield's doing their Kentucky Proud Cookout. That's coming up on Saturdays, the annual event they've been doing, celebrating, I think, what is it, 48? 48 years now. Man, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. That's a long good. dang time. That's <laughs> what that is. Well, yeah, but I mean, when you think about it, most businesses, if they're lucky to survive the first year, your dad built something that's a legacy now. Absolutely. Mom, he couldn't have done it without mom's help, uh, no doubt about that. And then myself and my three brothers got together and we just had a good mix. Uh, not to say we never argued, but <laughs> we, we, uh, we got along pretty well. We were blessed, no doubt. Uh, they got some of the best cuts. Of course, this is where all the best chefs come to get their uh, beef, their chicken, whatever these guys have. But you guys do some things that I would consider rather exotic as well. Oh yeah, uh, not only do we make all of our soups from homemade, mm -hmm. not that that's exotic, but it's very good. Uh, we make all of our own um, uh, salads. Uh, we do have exotic things like uh, alligator, uh, frog legs, uh, buffalo, venison, stuff like that. Octopus? Octopus, we've got octopus, crab legs, all kind of different things. So anything that uh, would just be found laying on the beach, you guys can bring it in. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, on Saturday, uh, tell me about the event. What do you guys got planned? Okay, we're going to have some live music. Uh, we're going to have our uh, annual cookout, which is our famous ribeye steak sandwiches, our uh, hamburgers, uh, jumbo. Where do you put those on? The ribeye sandwiches. We put them it, on a biscuit. We put them on bread bun. It's a we, bun. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bun. We I'm use, just trying to imagine. I'm getting myself ready. And for we it. use a we we use a marinade that we've been using for an er, ever and ever, and it goes really good. Very popular. Yeah, I bet. And it starts off at 10 o'clock. Starts off at 10 and goes till three. Right. And then, if you're here, uh, you want to get registered because they're giving away $100 gift cards every hour. That's right. Starting at 11 o'clock and going till three. But you all you have to do is register. You do not have to be here. But just register. Okay, and, and I, but I imagine people just start hanging out, don't they, Mike? Oh yeah, they'll come. The and action. Absolutely, come in and then they'll browse around the store and see what all we have, you know, and get familiar with us. Yeah, and in that 48 years, I imagine you've had the longevity of customers too that you've been with you maybe even from the beginning, right? We have, but I still have a few of those that have been with us from the beginning. Mom and Dad's old customers. Yeah. Well, again, the uh, Kentucky Proud Cookout is happening this Saturday here at Critchfield Meets Zandell Shopping Center off of uh, Nicholasville Road. More with these guys coming up in a bit. I've never tried octopus. Have either one of you no. had it before? You, Lee? Uh -huh. hey, surely you've had it at no. some point. Os no? I don't think I have. Ostrich. Done ostrich. Ostrich? Ostrich. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> He's got ostrich, too. Oh. I'll bet octopus tastes it does like not. chicken. Here's the thing. It does not taste like chicken. No, it doesn't? Because no. it looks like a big chicken. As Granny Clampett would identify, but it is. <laughs> it tastes like beef. More like beef. Yeah, see. That's that right. octopus yeah, tastes like beef. octopus or, or ostrich. That tastes ostrich. Like beef. Ostrich. Okay. Octopus right. tastes awful. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. There you have it. Don't try octopus. Goodness, we'll check. I mean, out. I don't know. I'm just guessing. It looks like <laughs> it's gonna be. Look at him. He